So, one thing I just wanted to show you real, real quick. Yes, sir. So, let's say you achieve, you use this control here, okay, with this lapel, okay, and I'm controlling this, okay. Try to get your left elbow down towards your hip where he's trying to save that arm, because he feels, you know, okay. When your hand is glued right here, okay, and all I'm doing is, is that I'm literally gluing it, okay, his, his elbow does really not have the leverage to drive my arm down to do this, okay, because I'm driving forward with my right foot and it's like my right hip is pushing my right arm forward, okay, I just have to keep this kind of stiff so that this, like a spider can walk and crawl up the mat because he's going to be fighting to bring that elbow down, okay? And I'm fighting and walking it up right here as it clears the path right here, okay? So let's say that you got to this point right here, okay? You can keep walking this up because this arm is already exposed and you potentially have key locks here, all right? So another thing keep in mind here, as you pull this through here, what I really want to do is I want to be able to control his face and head with my shoulder after I feed everything through. So as I go here, I put this up, feed it right here, okay? And you can put that knee back down. Because what I really want to do is I want to be able to get this hand over. So whether you reach over or whether you loop it over, okay? I want to apply pressure with my elbow to his sternum so his head comes up. So one thing that is good to do is you post your head right here as this hand grabs that lapel. And as my forearms come together, okay, I'm just loosening this right here. In order for me to apply pressure, okay, and to be able to pull up, I need to place my left shoulder on his forehead as my elbows pick his neck up and finish, okay? If you're like this, and you're gonna be doing this, you can finish it, but there's not just enough torque. Here, as I align my left shoulder and roll it on his face right here, I'm pulling this up. So what it does is that it's pulling his neck up, but the head is down, okay? Mm -hmm. And this becomes very, very powerful so that when you have this control right here, okay? And then you go this way right here, and your, your head is posted, okay? And you go palm down right here. I never used to be able to finish these chokes because I would just pick him up and then his head starts coming up. So bring your head up as you put there. But when I began to drive my shoulder to his forehead, knees wide, and pick his shoulder blades off the mat, his forehead is being pushed down and it creates a very, very powerful choke, okay? So whether you have this grip right here, okay? And you walk your head posted right here, and this hand goes right through on that shoulder. I pick this up, and I'm gonna push his shoulder of his face with my left shoulder, okay? This way my head can come up, okay? Because if I don't do this, how's my head gonna come up to realign to get that choke? Put my shoulder down, my head can come up. Now as my knees go wide, and I put, pick his shoulder blades off the mat, his forehead yeah, is being pushed back. Because how do you push the head back? You lift the nose, pull the hair, push the forehead, okay? So let's try that, one, two, three. Your, your left shoulder should be in their forehead.